Oh, well, Daniel, this has got to be exciting for you to see this high-level wrestler arrive at a high-profile matchup like this. You followed her wrestling career in the amateur circuit, and now here she is trying to see how those skills will translate on the greatest MMA proving ground in the world. You know, John, I speak to you privately about certain athletes, and I've said for a long time, there's a little girl that's lurking. There's a lady that's lurking. She went from a little girl to a woman, and now that woman steps into the UFC's octagon. How does she not only rely on the wrestling to guide her, use it as a backdrop, but you have to have all the skills if you want to go to the top. She does have the wrestling. Let's see what the rest of that skill set looks Sure, like. and she's got the cardio right. She's always yep. looking to advance position, but didn't want to engage us too much in terms of her striking improvements in our fighter meeting. So watch we'll and see, see is all she told us. Watch right. and see. We'll see. So here she is, Pate Estaca, Jessica Andrade. It was pretty amazing to see her put a capstone on this UFC career and beat Rose Namajunas to win the title at UFC 237. She's a real problem here at 115 pounds. She's a real problem, John. And she became a problem when she went down to 115. You saw immediately that the power and the cardio and the pressure and the ability to hurt people in a division where most fighters aren't knocking them out with one punch was possessed by Jessica Andras. And being in Rio and watching her win that title, you truly felt the enormity of the moment as Andras got her hand raised and the belt wrapped around her leg. Yeah, she won four fights in the UFC at 135 pounds before moving down. No woman in UFC history has won as many fights as Jessica Andras. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Cynthia Cavillo. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC strawweight champion, Jessica Mateus Paca One of the best in the business, Ready Herb Dean, is our referee Ready. tonight. Let's do it. All right, early round action is upon us, and what else can be said about the career of one Jessica Andrade? Wins in three different weight classes, a promoter's dream. And stylistically, she is about as fun to watch as any fighter in the women's game at present. As far as this matchup goes, power is the buzzword coming out of here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Straight right hand, but she misses. Great timing on that double leg. Andrade is looking to lock up an arm bar here. Ooh, she's got it tight. Wow, looks like the arm might end the fight. Instead, she gets out. It was over, and that's so discouraging for the opponent to survive something like that. Hats off to this young lady in her submission defense. Calvillo's back in side control here. Stepping over the ball here. That was a slick transition. Big ground and pound. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Cynthia Calvillo. And there you go, again, half guard. Andrade is back in full guard. Oh, when you get
get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back, as and I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Andrade. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by the she bottom She got fighter. stopped. She got stopped right in their tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. Andrade is back in half guard. Very comfortable here. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom foot. Great recognition in the grappling transitions. Way to maintain that guard. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Nicely done. Under 20 seconds now to go. Alright, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Alright, here we go with our second five minutes. Ready round five. two. Ready. Jessica Andra versus Cynthia Calvi. Great defense. She blocked that punch. Oh, nice inside leg kick. Yeah. Calvillo going for the takedown. Nothing doing there. Try to establish that jab. Oh, perfect head kick there. Guillotine jump. She is so aware on the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. All right, so her submission attempt is denied yet again. She's going to keep going for it, but the defense has held up every step of the way thus far. Well, she, she has to. She has to keep going for it. Because if she wants a chance, she's got to keep trying to throw up submissions. Unfortunately, she is trying to submit one of the best grapplers in the division. Calvillo's pass attempt denied. So we hit the three-minute mark here in the second round. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. She's as good a ground striker as there is in this division. Landed another one there. Calvillo's right back to the full mount here. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, she got that locked in quickly. It's tight. She got flat to her back. This ain't good. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound. And this is going to really zap her opponent as they get back to the feet. Nice job by her there. The bottom fighter continuing to slip these ground and pound offerings. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Oh, she's got head movement even off of her back, huh? Nice slip there. She's being proactive. She's not sitting and waiting until her opponent throws. She's moving in advance, and it's allowing her to evade these strikes. Good work from the top here by Andrade. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, she's got her back. Finals, Andrade is able to flatten her out. I'm not sure she's going to be able to survive this position. All right, that's the end of round number two.
this all right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. That guillotine is tight. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Andrade is in half guard. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this position. In this position, what's very key is that she cannot panic. She's got to go and attack the hips, create some space, shrimp off to a side, re-slide in that half guard so that then now she's a little bit safer. Once you're in half, take your underhook, get back to your feet, or fully recover full guard. Oh. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Nice transition. Andrade is in full guard now. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Another ground and pound strike lands. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Oh, pretty good job there posturing up and landing with the ground and pound. She has been very efficient in this situation tonight. Very efficient and very accurate. Hats off to her. Under two minutes to go in round three. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Cynthia Calvi. Right off of her back. Always thinking offense, even if she's in a defensive position. Relentless pressure from the top by Calvia. Oh, nice. Attempting an arm bar here. She's got it very tight. Oh, tremendous escape by her there. Beautiful submission defense on display by this young lady. Calvillo's back in full mount. Oh, good defense, yes. 20 seconds left. Using a lot of good movement. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh. And what a round! Oh, stop. Let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. At times, it looked as though she was literally trying to punch her face through the floor. Yeah, she was trying to punch her face through the floor. That's what she does, though. I mean, that is her calling card. That is what she's known for. The moment she gets down, it is just vicious grounded pump from the top position. She is a master of posturing. She is a master of control. And the moment she Ready gets five. an opportunity, she really Ready. does brutalize you. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Calvillo gets caught by the straight punch. Tries to work it into a takedown. Get it, jump. Oh, she got out. How good is that? Great shot from the top position. Well, we're becoming a broken record. Another ground strike landed by her there. This is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Calvillo. And there you go, again, half guard. And now she's in mount. 
trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Calvillo's back in full mount. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, how good is her submission defense there? All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to get their backs so that she can chase them. Oh, nice headlock. That guillotine is tight. She's got the guillotine choke here. She's got to secure her opponent. She cannot allow her to roll to her back and fight her hands. She escapes. Beautiful transition. Well, she'll ground you and she will pound you. These strikes are really starting to add up. They're starting to add up because now she's more willing to take chances knowing that she can land. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Cynthia Calvillo. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Calvillo's going for a choke here. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. It's over. She's got the submission. She has to have it here. Oh, she got out. She did a good job of rotating, bridging back into her opponent, creating momentum, getting her chest flat to the mat, and defending that arm triangle. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing him. Oh, she's going for her arm here. What a tight arm bar. Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Stop, stop, Thought stop. maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. Back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. Way too aggressive. Way too aggressive against your opponent right now. All right, so there's the end of the round. We're going to get you some replays here. Her submission offense is outstanding, just unable to get it tight enough there. She's such a great grappler. She manipulates you so well on the ground that you see why people try to avoid grappling with her at all costs. But she got the fight where she wanted to. She almost got the submission that would have ended the fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth Good. and final round. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attack. Takedown defense is there. Now the two separate from the clinch. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. Trying to tighten up the grip on the guillotine choke now. Oh, great submission defense as she gets out. All right, getting late in the fight. This should be good. It's been all action thus far, and we will see which woman steps up. These women have laid it all out on the line. They have sustained this pace the entire time. Who is going to be able to finish the job? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Cynthia Calvillo. Oh, nice elbow. Another strike gets through from the top position. Mm, that was nice. Excellent ground and pound here by Calvillo. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Andrade is in full guard. Man, she's making these ground strikes count. 
Oh, high-level grappling by her there as she reverses position on the ground. Oh, right into Mount. Great submission defense on display tonight. Less than a minute now to go in the fight. She is so dominant from the top position. She is reading things pretty well defensively as she's able to dodge that strike on the ground. She's got her eyes open and she's very aware of everything coming in her direction. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. Scorecards, one of the greatest fights that we have seen all year. All right, the official and decision is in. It resides rounds, with the venerable we go to the Bruce judges scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 49 47, 48 47, and 49 47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Cynthia Gabriel. All right, so her wrestling is on point tonight as she gets the better of the largely more well-rounded fighter. And I think this result, even though no finish, is going to have a lot of people excited to see her next performance. Yeah, she fought as good as you can in earning the decision, John. You know, you can want for a finish, but if the finish doesn't materialize, this is the type of decision that you want to be winning. She dominated every area of this fight, and she should be proud of that.